What have we got there? I have something here that is out of this world. A meteorite. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Can I touch it? Yes, sir. It's meteorite, not kryptonite, right? <laughs> <laughs> Meteorite hunting is a hobby of mine. It's awesome to hold something in your hands that has come from billions and billions of miles away. You're the first human being to ever touch it. Today, I would like to get 4,700 for my stone. Uh, the least that I'm willing to take would be 2,000. What's it made out of? Uh, nickel, iron, and just ordinary chondritic stone. If you look around the outside edge here, you will see what they call a fusion crust. That's the black line that goes all the way around the outside of it. And it's from material melting off of it as it comes into the atmosphere. It's only been on the ground for maybe three to five months, approximately. Only a few months? Yeah. Um, you can see here where it was laying on the ground, you can see part of the, the sand from where it was laying up on top of the soil. And the fact that it's still rusted shows that the patina hasn't worn off yet. If it was there for longer, it would be nice and smooth. I mean, it's not of this earth. Yeah, it traveled billions of miles to land here and in your hands. Oh, more than billions. Billions and billions. Billions and billions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, if it's real, it's really cool. I mean, I, I dig it. I think it's really neat. I mean, my big problem is I don't deal in meteorites. And I don't even know if it's a meteorite. OK. I, mean, I want someone to look at it. He'll do whatever he does. He'll be able to tell me it's a meteorite right here. I'm going to go get my jingle, hang out. Um, I don't have any meteorites, but I bought the stuff for sale. So <laughs> check, right. check them out. Sounds good. How much did you want for it? Uh, I'd like to get 4,700. We'll talk. Let me let me talk to my buddy first. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, hang out. He'll be here in a few minutes, and we'll uh, do some business, man. Fair enough. I've been hunting meteorites for the last 20 years. It's just a whole lot of fun. It gets me outdoors. It gets me to feel um, I'm young again. I'm, I'm a meteorite hunter. Rick, uh, so what are your concerns about this stone? Okay, I mean, is it a meteorite? Well, I gotta tell you, you know, a lot of people come to me saying, hey, is my rock a meteorite? You know, it's it's rarely, if ever, a meteorite. So I wanna say that first, okay? I don't wanna get your hopes up there. So tell me a little more about how you found this. Well, this was found on a dry lake in Southern California. I hit it with my magnet. Can I have your permission to do that again? Absolutely. I normally don't put a magnet on a meteorite, but in the field, sometimes you have to. Okay. All right, that's interesting. You saw how that danced on there? That's a strong attraction. This is really exciting. I'm going to look at it a little closer. What you're looking for is whether it has these round grains of metal and whether it also has these round spheres of silicates. Okay, so it's, so it's a meteorite? That rock is older than this planet. That thing was solid before this planet ever solidified. Wow, that's pretty cool. Chris, tell me uh, about where the other piece of this is. Well, the other piece is actually at UCLA right now. It is actually cataloged. Catalog? In, yeah, it's wow. cataloged in an international uh, wow. official meteorite really? database. The big question, what do you think it's worth? Well, Rick, I got to tell you, uh, if this meteorite wasn't cataloged, it would fetch $10 a gram. But this is a graded catalog the meteorite this is a four thousand dollar meteorite okay well cool thanks man you're welcome okay. okay it was a real pleasure to be able to tell somebody hey this is really a meteorite these are the oldest rocks in the solar system they're even older than the world our own planet bob said it's worth right around four grand i have to resell this okay it takes work i mean realistically it doesn't look like a rock i gotta figure out another way to make it not look like a rock and um I'll give you 1800 bucks could you do 2250 it is you, one of a kind to a degree it's the only meteorite in the world that's shaped like this right okay. we take two grand for it mm, no i can't go that low i mean it... it'll look beautiful in here under the lights I'll give you 21. I'm not gonna. I, I won't give you a dime more. I mean, that's that's it. And that's it. That is it. <clears throat> 200 sounds fair. Okay, deal, man. Thank you very much. All right, I'll meet you right over there at the pawn counter. We'll write this up. Okay. Alrighty. 2100 dollars for something that fell from outer space, and you know I didn't really have to do anything except pick it up. That's pretty good. 